dig for victory. But this is Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. out there. Fortunately here in the greenhouse things are a lot calmer. Now you may have noticed our giant amounts of kale. These things have lasted all over the summer. Each one is taking up approximately three holes in our hydroponic. However, we have a plan. On this side we've got a load of little baby kale and lots of lettuce and kohlrabi and other such things. Hopefully when they grow up we can then take out these big ones and replace them with next lot seedlings. And when those are big enough, we're going to start new kale. And we're going to put them in our handy flood and drain system, which is currently set to drain. Vic? Over there is a diaphragm pump. It is, of course, broken. Optimistic fellow that I am, I screwed it in place with square-headed screws. Called Robertson screws elsewhere in the world of a different size, excuse me. Yeah, that one will fit. And of course it's soldered in. At both ends. But after we've unplugged everything, we can fix that too. Yep, a different size screw. All right, where were we? Oh, hard to get these electrical screwdrivers, well, these uh, main screwdrivers these days because they work by having a little neon in there. And when you touch the end there and you have that end on some mains, enough electricity passes through you to light the neon up. And for some reason, that's sort of considered contrary to modern health and safety practices. Although it's a tiny amount of electricity and you don't generally notice it. Uh. Got it. Let's have it apart. Well, that's a piece of high quality tubing for a start. So we've got it in bits. Now when you see diaphragm pump, you think of like a membrane rattling back and forth. And in fact, there are actually five little membranes that rattle back and forth in a series of five valves that accumulate the output flow into this ring with a little hole there, sort of allows it to exit down through that exit hole there. Um, and it's absolutely filled with filth. So we'll, we'll see if cleaning these uh, little valves out will make the thing work. Had to take uh, this bit off. The way it works is there's a little um, eccentric shaft in there that uh, moves around just off center. Hang on, we'll hook this up to my high-tech power supply and show you. So when you've got the rubber bit on the end, it does that which is moving too fast for you to see, but it's actually, you can do it by hand. Get a good grip on yourself, Vic. It moves around like that, and as it does that, the chambers get bigger and smaller. And uh, of course, with the aid of the plate full of valves on the other side of it, then uh, that pumps water through all the time. Yeah, well, it does when it's not full of valve anyway. So I guess all there is to do now is put the blessed thing back together again. This stuff's absolutely filthy, but um, see all the algae that grew inside there uh, while we were away uh, overseas. And um, yeah, well, I need something to test it with, so I'll just give this a quick clean out. 
All right, I'll admit it took me a couple of goes to get this thing back together again, because um, although it looks like you can put uh, the middle section in sort of any way um, of four, uh, you can't. Um, and lesson learned. Anyway, uh, stick that in the water and um, soak the place, shall we? There we go, success. Pumps air and water, lovely. So the problem appears to have been um, that those little five little valves in there, uh, rather than the five little membranes, um, had become clogged with algae which had grown in nutrient solution after we'd abandoned it. Oh, well, I'll then to drain the system before I go on holiday next time, won't I? That's that little bugger all fixed up. Time for a beer. Well, now he's finished fiddling with that, we can finally put some plants in. For now, that's your lot, down on Geeko Farm.